Yeah, sir. How are you doing after this win? Uh, yeah, feeling real good. Uh, when it's playing, just excited for the night. But come tomorrow, uh, on to new, on to the next game. You guys really keyed in on uh, you know getting pressure on on Johnson. You know, uh, was was that one of the main goals? Uh, one, a part of your game plan? Yeah, I think you know we always get after quarterbacks with pressure defense. Uh, I think we just really executed our game plan tonight. And uh, you know we were talking outside before, and it's really just been a long time coming for this team. Um, you know, I've been working hard for you know a couple of years now, and um, I don't know. It's kind of emotional, you know. Like uh, <clears throat> these guys have been fighting for this for every day, and there's been some tough times. Um, you know, tough times, and, and and we just push through that. And I'm really proud of our guys, and uh, you know, it's really coming to show how much work we put in, how you know, veteran this group is, and uh, you know, we're just getting started. You guys uh, were, were forcing fumbles, getting interceptions, same as you did last week, but maybe even a little more. Did you kind of feed off of the the lessons from week zero, and do you think it's you had an advantage coming into today, into today, knowing that you had already played a game and they hadn't. Yes, uh, coming from coming off of last week, it gave us a lot of confidence just coming out in a big win like that, and then heading to a game like this, we knew turnovers were going to be uh, were going to be key uh, playing against playing against a ranked opponent, and then uh, a team everybody thought we should have got blown out to. So yes, uh, turnovers, getting pressure, all that was big in the game plan. And then th this is an LSU team that over the past couple of years has been kind of an offensive juggernaut. And then uh, until that, that last touchdown in, in the last couple of minutes, you only allowed 20 points for most of the game. Uh, how much pride do you take in that? I think we just executed the game plan really well, honestly. We had uh, a lot of film study throughout the week. Um, guys were very locked in. And like I say, you know, I keep saying over and over again, but it's a veteran group. So they understand how to uh, prepare for a game. Uh, they've done it time and time again. And I think that just goes to show, you know, what we did out there today was a lot of preparation, uh, you know, through a lot of years, you, even going in before this week. And, uh, you know, we were able to just execute that this week. You can tell that this win means a lot for you. Is, were, were there times in the last couple of years where it was kind of tough to, I don't know, buy the fact that this was, was even possible? Uh, I'm going to say no. Even even in the past years where we started off on one and we had uh, Oklahoma or somebody's second game, we always believed in ourselves. Uh, obviously, we didn't finish two of those games, but this year it's just different. We worked harder uh, coming off of last year. We knew that we knew that we just have to finish 15 points last year, and then we just we just weren't finishing games. So the biggest thing the biggest thing we were focused on this year is just finishing games, playing hard, playing fast. Uh, 60,000 people on the road. In the road, it's cool. I don't know if you guys were able to hear that out there. Did you guys feed off that while you guys were out there? Just tell me about that crowd and, and what they did for you guys. Yeah, that was awesome. I think that was the most packed I've ever seen in the Rose Bowl while I've been here. Um, and I loved it. I mean, it was great, great energy from the from the get-go. Um, the defense was on point, you know, really um, uh, thriving off of the, the home crowd. Um, you know, there's a lot of LSU fans here too, and I think uh, that was really fun to be a part of too. Having a team uh, that travels as big as they did, um, it was just fun to keep them quiet today. Um, and uh, what would you say to the fans and with trying to encourage them to come out to the Fresno State game in two weeks? Oh, come out, come out, yeah. Uh, you can expect the same thing: us playing hard, us finishing, us fighting all four quarters. And uh, feeding off you guys, you guys did a lot tonight. Appreciate you guys for that. So yeah, come on, come on in two weeks. Uh, we'll love to see you out there. Did you guys grab any confetti when it came down on the field? <laughs> I did do a little uh, snow angel with Q Lake, <laughs> so that was fun. I didn't realize they were gonna have confetti after the game. That was a fun surprise. Yeah, that surprised me. You guys are both local guys. What's it like to help this your hometown program kind of rise up? Oh, it's big. Uh, uh, we know that being in LA, a lot of people don't like coming out to the game. So, winning big games, starting off fast, is going to bring more fans to the game. So, yeah, it's just big to see a lot of people out here. Love to get more people out here to the game. So, yeah, it means a lot. Yeah, like Blaze said, Blaze said, you know, LA is a tough crowd if you're not playing well. Uh, but luckily, we're playing pretty good now, and uh, you know, we've got a lot of fans on our side now. And it's fun to be able to pack the Rose Bowl. The Rose Bowl is meant to be played in front of the, you know, the amount of fans that we had tonight. Um, and 
it's just it's awesome to have that. I'm so thankful for everybody who's coming out. Thanks, guys. Thank you.